Travelling in a camper van is the best way to discover Tasmania at your own pace. Your everyday car is also a camper wagon. Camping amenities with security. This camper is suitable for two adults wanting to tour Tasmania at an affordable price with a little adventure. Press the unlock key to unlock all cabin doors. The vehicle height is 2.3 meters. The parking brake is located beneath the dash to the left hand side of the foot brake. Push with your left foot to engage. Or there may be a handbrake switch in the center console which you press downwards to disengage with your foot on the brake. The fuel door release is located to the right of the steering wheel. Push to open the fuel door that is located on the passenger side of the camper van. This vehicle is unleaded petrol only. The toolkit and jack are located in the rear compartment to the left. The fire extinguisher is located inside the rear door. To set up the bed, move the two front seats as far forward as possible and store the fridge on the front seat. Store any other luggage in the rear compartment or in the roof pod. Unfold the mattress for use as a double bed. To use the fridge, plug into the 12 volt socket in the passenger side footwell or under the armrest in the center console. Keep the temperature on maximum and the fridge will cool as you drive. To set up the awning, first remove the bag from the rear compartment that contains the guide ropes, hammer and pegs. Fully unzip the awning cover. Release the two velcro straps from within the case. With a person either side, carefully unroll the awning until about a meter from the vehicle. Pull out the two legs from within the awning bracket and place them at a 45 degree angle to the camper van. Continue to unroll the awning fully and then unfold the two vertical legs and set them to the desired height by rotating the poles to lock them into position. Next, secure the horizontal poles into position by twisting them to lock into place and then attaching the velcro straps to hold them secure. Ensure the awning is level and taut. Attach the guide ropes from the corner of the awning rails to the pegs you have hammered into the ground. To stow away the awning, first remove the guide ropes and pegs, storing them along with the hammer back within the rear luggage compartment. Loosen the horizontal poles and place at 45 degrees to the camper van. Loosen the vertical poles and reinsert them into the awning rail. Fold the awning evenly towards the vehicle and then fold in the horizontal bars into the rail below the case. Complete folding the awning into the case. Attach the velcro holding straps and place above the cabin. A key to the roof pod is attached to the car key set. To gain access to the pod, open the passenger side sliding door and stand inside on the vehicle floor which will allow you to reach the pod. Ensure the pod is locked and secured before travelling. For privacy, the hatch on the back rear pod can be swung into place. Before driving, fold this hatch flat for better visibility. Open the main door on the pod to locate all the cooking items, cutlery and utensils, the portable gas stove and four spare gas refill cartridges are located in the pod. To use the cooker, first remove it from the plastic case. Swing open the door on the right of the unit that houses the gas cartridge. Place a cartridge in the unit and ensure the notch cutout on the can is facing to the top. Push the lever downwards to engage the gas. Turn the dial to the max and ignite the cooker flame by using the piezo ignition. Cook outside and let the cooker cool down before storing away. The camping chairs, outside table, interior table top and pole are located in the rear under the pod. To set up the inside table, place the pole in the hole of the floor. Then place the table top on top of this. On return of your vehicle, ensure the interior is in a clean and tidy state with all linen placed in the plastic bag and all dishes washed. Smoking and pets are not permitted within our vehicles. Tasmania has many nocturnal animals. When traveling at night, we recommend traveling at slower speeds. 